Oh my god, that was so crunchy. What is up my beautiful Marmars and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, I'm gonna make something I can eat. Hot Cheeto Churros. All right, time to make some hot Cheeto churros. First, I'm gonna put some hot Cheetos directly into the blender, just like this, get those out of there. I'm gonna go ahead and blend these into some nice little small pieces, just like that. Then I'm gonna add one cup of water into this pan, some sugar, some salt, some vegetable oil, mix that bad boy all around, add some flour directly into this mixture, keep adding it, adding it, and then I'm gonna grab my hot Cheetos, put that directly into there. Oh yeah, look at this concoction. It's still not red enough for me though. Time to add some more red food color ring to make it super hot cheeto -y. Ooh, let's keep mixing oh that is so beautiful it smells so good all right after we've made our churro the next thing we're gonna do is get our piping bag so we're gonna place our piping bag inside of a cup just like this and we're gonna go ahead and put that over the cup the cup is gonna make it super easy for us to fill our piping bag up everything's in there I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my churro dough now Probably cut it in half I don't want too much of it right here but I want to get it put it in there then I'm gonna lift it up and actually add some more. All right, now I have all of my dough directly into the piping bag. Now, after I'm done putting my bag together, I'm gonna heat up my oil and get ready to make my churros. I'm gonna go ahead and start to squeeze it into the oil, just like this. Come on, churro. And I'm gonna keep squeezing it and squeezing it. It's actually pretty hard to squeeze out. Then I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the tip right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and work on one more. Here we go. Yes, yes. No, don't get all curvy. They're really hard to push out. Wait, I'm gonna keep squeezing this. I'm gonna push out some more. Ah, that one was beautiful. Now I'm just gonna cut it off at the end right there. Come on. Now we're just gonna wait for them to come up. All right, so now that I have these beautiful hot Cheeto churros, I'm gonna pull them out right here and put them on this to dry. One, two, three. Now we're gonna coat them with cinnamon, hot Cheeto, sugar. I'm gonna take some brown sugar and I'm gonna place that into the bowl, just like this. Three scoops of brown sugar, just like that. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon, that much, just to coat the top of the brown sugar. Then we're gonna mix all this together. Brown sugar, cinnamon, you know, your typical Cheeto sugar recipe mixture. But you know, these are hot Cheeto churros. So the next secret ingredient, not so much of a secret, grounded up Cheetos. So I'm gonna take about one, two, three, four, okay, five <laughs> scoops of that. And I'm gonna mix it all together and make sure it gets really nice and incorporated. Ooh, it makes the sugar look really nice. It's like brown and red. I'm gonna add some more just cause I love hot Cheetos so much. Just Add that much more. Now, this looks gorgeous and beautiful, so I cannot wait to coat my hot Cheeto churros with this stuff right here. Ooh, this is gonna be so good. All right, so I have these hot Cheetos, and I'm gonna coat these too. Look how beautiful these are. Ah, those are kinda hot. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, put these on top just like that. Don't be afraid. This is so awesome. I'm so excited to make these. Like, whoever left this in the comments, you guys are awesome. You gave me this idea. It is such a great idea. I cannot wait to try this. These are two of my favorite snacks, hot Cheetos and churros. It's right here, this ultra combination right here. try these hot Cheeto churros right now. I've never seen these ever on anything until you, one of you guys commented it. Keep the comments coming. If you have any hot Cheeto ideas, any ideas in general, I might make it. So put it there in the comments below. Right now, I'm just really excited. I'm about to try one of these hot Cheeto churros. Let's do this, here we go. It smells kind of weird though. I've never smelled the hot Cheeto churro. It's interesting, it smells not what you would expect. It does not smell like a hot Cheeto at all. But let's take a bite of it, here we go. Oh my god, that was so crunchy, wait. It's so crunchy every time. Oh my goodness, this is so much crunch. Mm. I'm trying to taste the hot Cheetos really hard because there's a lot of cinnamon and a lot of sugar. It's hard to taste my hot Cheetos right now, but oh, there it is, there it is. It's in the back of the palate, way back there. It, you can taste the hot Cheeto. These are delicious. Guys, if you like hot Cheetos, if you like Cheetos, make these. Sweet and spicy really works. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little weird at first. You have to get used to it, or you have to be a massive Hot Cheeto fan like me, because these are my two favorite snacks. Cheetos, Hot Cheetos, delicious. Mm. Mm. 
I can eat these all day. These are so good. I'm gonna eat these all day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these in my pocket now. I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna put these in here. <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright guys, if you're a Cheeto lover, please go out and make these. Send me some pictures on Instagram or Twitter. Let me know how they taste to you. But these are so delicious to me. They smell kind of funny, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe it's the brown sugar, maybe we can not put the brown sugar in there. But these are delicious. If you guys love Cheetos, if you guys love hot Cheetos, and you guys love sugar, give this video like 25,000 likes, and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another new video. Peace!